Hey everyone, today's lesson is solve equations with like terms. So if you have the lesson worksheet, get that out and grab a pencil and a calculator and a highlighter so you can follow along with the example that we're going to do together and hopefully you're going to feel confident enough to solve some problems on your own. Okay, let's get right to it. Here is our first problem. It says solve this equation and then check your solution to show that it is correct. The equation is 5x plus 15 minus 9x equals 71. Okay, before we solve the equation, I want to go through the steps real quick. So step one is we're going to check and we're going to see if there are any like terms that we can combine. And remember that like terms have the same variable or the same variables. Step two is we're going to use the rules of integers to add the like terms together, right? We are always adding our like terms. Step three is we're going to solve the two-step equation, right? You guys are pros at solving two-step equations by now, I'm sure. And the last step, step four, is we're going to check the solution. And we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to it, because sometimes um, people misinterpret what's meant by that. Okay, first thing is we are going to check and see if we have any like terms to add together. So I see two terms that have an x. I see a 5x and I see a negative 9x. When I add a positive 5 plus a negative 9, that gives me a negative 4x. And I'm going to bring down the plus 15. And I'm going to bring down equals 71, right? And notice I drew a line through my equal sign because I really like to just separate what's happening on one side with the other, right? It just helps keep your equation a little bit more organized. All right, a two-stepper. I've got a negative 4 to cancel and a positive 15. I know that I'm going to always start out with the adding or subtracting. It's the number that's farthest away from the variable that we want to cancel first. So I'm going to subtract 15 from each side. These 15s are going to cancel out, right? Positive 15 minus 15 cancels. So I'm going to be left with a negative 4x on the left side. And on the right side, when I do 71 minus 15, I'm going to get 56. Okay, my last step, divide each side by negative 4. And when I do that, I'm going to get x equals negative 14. All right, so now we're on step four, right? Now we're going to check our solution. And what I wanted to say about that is a lot of students think that when we say check your solution, we mean go back and look at your work and make sure that you didn't make a mistake somewhere. But that's not what we mean. What we mean is you're going to take this value, right? You're going to take this negative 14, and you are going to substitute the x in the original equation with negative 14. Now in this case, we have two x's in our equation, so we're going to be replacing both x's with a negative 14. So here's how that's going to look. Instead of 5x, I'm going to do 5 times negative 14. And then I'm going to bring down the plus 15. I'm going to bring down the minus 9. And instead of that x, I'm going to put another negative 14. And that equals 71. When I'm substituting values, I always like to put the value in parentheses, right? And that just helps me um, to remember that I need to multiply. So 5 times negative 14 is going to give me negative 70. And then I'm going to bring down plus 15. Negative 9 times negative 14 is going to give me positive 126. And that equals 71. Okay, from here, I'm just left with an addition problem. I'm going to go from left to right. Negative 70 plus 15 is negative 55 plus 126 equals 71. And then my last step is going to be to add these two together, right? We have to remember our rules of integers. We have different signs, so we're going to subtract them and keep the sign of the bigger number. 126 minus 55 is 71. So I end up with 71 equals 71. Because this is the same number on both sides of the equal sign, that tells me that my answer is correct. So x equals negative 14 is definitely the solution of this equation. All right, we have three more examples that we're going to do on the next page. So if you feel confident and you want to try either maybe one of these problems, right? Maybe the first one, or maybe you want to try the first one and the second one, or maybe you want to be brave and try all three of them on your own. Now would be a great time to stop the video and work out these problems. 
And then as soon as you have them finished, you can hit play again and then you can check because I'm going to work them out right now. Here we go. All right. Again, I'm looking for like terms, right? So I've got a negative 20x and I've got a negative x. I remember that this negative x is really a negative 1, even though we don't write that 1. So negative 20 plus negative 1 is negative 21x. I'm going to bring down that plus 34, and that equals negative 50. I'm going to solve this two-step equation. So my first step is going to be to subtract the 34 from each side. This is going to cancel. On the left, I'm left with negative 21x. And on the right, if I do negative 50 minus 34, that's the same as negative 50 plus negative 34, which is negative 84. Then I'm going to divide each side by negative 21. And that's going to tell me that x equals positive 4. All right, so I'm going to go through. I'm going to check, and I'm going to see if positive 4 is, in fact, the answer. So I'm going to replace every single x in this equation with a 4. So I'm going to start out with negative 20 times 4. And then I've got negative 1 times 4 again. And then plus 34. And then that equals negative 50, right? At least we hope it does. Negative 20 times 4 is negative 80. And then negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. And then I'm going to bring down my plus 34 and that equals negative 50. Okay, I'm just going to go left to right. I have subtraction, but I know that I don't have to add before I subtract, right? The order of operation tells me just to go left to right. So negative 80 minus 4 is negative 84, right? Because that would be the same as negative 80 plus negative 4. Bring down plus 34 equals negative 50. Okay, at this point, I have a negative 84 plus a positive 34. Different signs mean I'm going to subtract. 84 minus 34 is 50. And then I'm going to keep the sign of the number with a larger absolute value. 84 has a larger absolute value than 34, and 84 was negative, so that means my 50 is also going to be negative. So I end up with negative 50 equals negative 50. Again, I have the same number on both sides, right? So that means that that is correct. Okay, next example. We're going to look for some like terms again. I've got a 7.5x and I've got a positive 1.5x. When I add 7.5 plus positive 1.5, I get 9x. And then I've got more like terms, right? I've got a negative 10 and I've got a positive 2, right? Those are both constants. Neither one of them have a variable, so those are like terms as well. Negative 10 plus positive 2 is negative 8, and that equals 37. Two-step equation. We're going to add 8 on each side. It's going to leave us with 9x on the left side and 45 on the right side. Finally, I'm going to divide each side by 9. That's going to give me x equals 5. All right, time to check. So we're going to do 7.5 times 5 minus 10 plus 1.5 times 5 plus 2 equals 37. Right? So I just replaced both of those x's with a 5. 7.5 times 5 is 37.5 plus whoop, minus 10. And then 1.5 times 5 is 7.5. And then plus 2 equals 37. Okay, when I do 37.5 minus 10, that's 27.5. And then I'm going to bring down the plus 7.5. I'm going to bring down the plus 2, and that equals 37. 27.5 plus 7.5, when I add those together, equals 35. I'm going to bring down the plus 2, and I'm going to bring down the 37. And of course, when we do 35 plus 2, we do get 37. Right? So we end up with 37 equals 37. Again, that is exactly what we wanted, right? We always want there to be the same number on both sides of the equal sign because that tells us that our solution is correct. All right, this last problem, it's got some fractions in it, but I don't want you to be afraid, right? I always say do not fear the fraction. 
just like any other problem with like terms. We've got a positive 5 sixth and we've got a negative 1 sixth. When I combine those, when I add a positive 5 sixth with a negative 1 sixth, that gives me a positive 4 over 6. X, I'm going to bring down the minus 14. I'm going to bring down the negative 30. Two-step equation. We're going to add 14 on each side. And that's going to give us 4 over 6x on the left side, and it's going to give us negative 16 on the right side. Okay, from here, right? Um, it's 4 6 times x, but I always tell my students that we really don't want to divide by 4 6. Instead, what I always tell them to do is multiply by the reciprocal, right? So we're going to multiply each side by 6 over 4. Right, we're going to flip it over. That's what the reciprocal is. So 6 times 4 is 24, and 4 times 6 is 24, and 24 over 24 just equals 1. So all this goes away, and we're left with 1x. There it is. Now, on this side, I've got negative 16. Let's make that a fraction, so we're looking at two fractions next to each other. If I multiply my two numerators together, negative 16 times 6, that's going to give me negative 96. And then if I do 1 times 4 for my denominators, I'm going to get 4. And negative 96 divided by 4 is going to give me negative 24. Right? So there's our answer. It's negative 24. All right, now we're going to check it. So we have 5 over 6 times negative 24 minus 14 minus 1 over 6 times negative 24, and that equals negative 30. Okay, 5 6 times negative 24 is negative 20. I'm going to bring down the minus 14. Negative 1 6 times negative 24 is positive 4, and this equals negative 30. Okay, I'm just going to go left to right. Negative 20 minus 14 more, right? That's negative 34. It's the same as negative 20 plus negative 14. Plus 4 equals negative 30. And then my last step is to do negative 34 plus positive 4. Different signs, so we're going to subtract. 34 minus 4 is 30. The number with the larger absolute value is the 34, and it was negative. So my 30 ends up being negative. So we have negative 30 equals negative 30, and once again, it works out the same on both sides. So to recap, this first one, x equals 4, that was our answer. We know it was correct because we checked it. The second equation was x equals 5. Again, we know it was correct because we checked it. And then finally, our third one with the fraction was x equals negative 24. Again, we knew it was right because we checked it. So I'm hoping that this video was helpful and that you guys understand how to solve equations with like terms. Um, if you need to watch the video again, that would be a great idea. You can always rewind it and you can watch it again um, if you feel like you just need a little bit more help. And then as always, you can ask your teacher, right? We love when our students ask questions. We love to help you. So please take advantage of that. And I will see you guys next time.